So I, I, I understand. <laughs> so every, I get it mispronounced all the time, have my entire life. So I apologize for my voice. It's still trying to come back over, over my long weekend. So, um, but let's do what we always do and go around the room and introduce ourselves, say where we're from, and uh, what your favorite movie is. So, Andre, we'll, we'll start with you. Okay. I am Andre. I'm from Brazil, Sao Paulo. My favorite movie is Constantine with a... Uh... I forgot the name of actor. Uh, the same of Matrix. Um, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, cool, awesome. This is correct okay. pronunciation, Keanu Reeves. Yep, that's right. Yep, that's nice. right. Um, Neris, I can't tell. Do you do you have headphones on? It looks like you do. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. It, is it better? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, um, I'll go next. Um, my name is Shanae. I am from the United States, and um, I live in California. And my favorite, my favorite movie is Gone with the Wind. But today we're doing another one of my favorite movies, which is Breakfast at Tiffany's. But I like a lot of old movies. So, uh, Jean, would you like to... Uh, Tell us where you're from and your favorite movie. Jo on. <laughs> almost jo there. On. Almost there. Almost <laughs> there. Okay. Looks like he left. I don't know if he if he could hear us. Anyways, um. Jessica, go ahead and uh, tell us your favorite movie and where you're from. Okay. I'm Jessica. I live in Brazil, Sao Paulo. And my favorite movie... Oh. <laughs> I guess... Fight Club. Fight Club? Yeah. yeah. Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think she likes... Uh... Only Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't he, he, know the history of the movie. Yeah. Oh, he's, I love him. He, he's, in, he's in a lot of good movies. He, he really yeah, is. He's sure. a good actor. He's a good actor. Okay, and Michael. Also, George Clooney. <laughs> yes, yes. George Clooney. Yeah, Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's yeah. Eleven. Yeah, cool. Um, Michael, where are you from? Michael? Okay, we'll come back to Michael. Um, Neris, where are you from? Well, uh, I am from Azerbaijan, <coughs> in Baku. Okay. Uh, and I don't have favorite uh, movie, but I like uh, movies that are taken from a uh, true story. From tr Okay, so like documentaries? No. No, just like it's uh, it's happened in real life, and they took it to a movie. Okay, so um, like a uh, um, almost like a reenactment type of deal. Cool, awesome. I like the, I like I like movies that are based on true stories too. Um, mm. okay, Michael, you're back. Yes, I'm sorry. And that's okay. That's okay. Where are you from? I come from Peru. From Peru? Awesome. And uh, what's your favorite movie? Uh, I like too many, but one of my favorite movies is uh, Contagion. 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 I will. Okay. Contagion. Um, Contagion, yeah, it's like Contagion? that. Contagion? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. cool. Very, I don't... You never see that? No, I've never seen that. It's. No. it's it's very interesting. You never know what happened. Okay, awesome, awesome. I like I like suspense movies too. They're fun. Uh, Patricia, uh, tell everybody where you're from and your favorite movie. I'm from Argentina. Um, I like many boom, many movies, but I prefer the Harry Potter. 
the message who transmit Harry Potter is good for me. Harry Potter? Me yeah. too. Yeah, cool. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, they're fun. I like those movies too. They're really fun. Um, and um, is, is it Tanya? Yes, you can call me T. T. T? Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm T. I'm from Thailand. Yeah, my favorite movie is The Chronicles of Narnia. That's a good one too. Yeah, cool. Everybody likes good movies. Cool. Everybody likes good movies. I like it when everybody likes good movies. And uh, Vladimir? Hi, my name is Vladimir. I'm from Germany. And my favorite movie is Cool with John Travolta. Is, is which one with John Travolta? Be Cool. Be Cool? Yeah. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Where in Germany are you Are you at? What, please? Uh, where, where in Germany are you? Uh, this, you mean the city? Yes. Uh, it's Osnabrück. is a small city in Lower Saxony. Okay, cool, awesome. Uh, Han Hannover is maybe a bigger city. is uh, okay. nearly 200 kilometers away from here. Okay, cool. Is this anybody's first time to uh, Colingo? Everybody's been here before. Awesome. I know I've had I've had um, I've had three of you in my class before. I've had Jessica and I've had. Um, um, Patricia and I've had um, Andre so yeah. cool awesome well, let's have a really fun class so today we are going to be talking about breakfast at Tiffany's what? breakfast at Tiffany's this is an American film from 1961 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like old movies um, it's a really good movie, and I see. Is it is it uh, J Jiro? Jiro? Am I saying that right? Probably not. Hello. Hi. Help me out with your name. My name is Brazilian too. It's called Jairo. Jairo. Okay. Kind of. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my accent is very, very bad in in, in Portuguese. So. Okay, welcome to the class. Thank you. And uh, do you have a favorite movie? Yeah, all the Matrix series. The Matrix? Cool, awesome. Okay, so Breakfast at Tiffany's. Has anybody ever heard of this movie before? No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm too <laughs> young. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 19, 1961. So this will be fun. So it has an actress in it, and her name is Audrey Hepburn. Has anybody oh. ever has anybody ever heard of Audrey Hepburn? Yeah. Yeah. No. She she was in um she was in My Fair Lady and Roman Holiday. Um, very famous in America during that time. Oh, very, My Fair Lady. Very very pretty pretty um lady, very pretty woman, and um, everybody loved her here. So it has her in it, and it also has another act, an, another actor um, named George Peppard. And George Peppard was not nearly as famous as, um, as Audrey Hepburn was. In fact, Breakfast at Tiffany's is probably his most famous film. He's been in other movies, but that's probably his his most famous. And then there's another actor that we're going to be talking about who's in the movie, and his name is Mickey Rooney. Um, he was also very very famous, and um, he uh, was in another movie called with um, Elizabeth Taylor. Do you guys know who Elizabeth Taylor was? Yes. Yeah. Um, she, when she was really young, her very first movie was National Velvet, and um, Mickey Rooney was also pretty young. He's a lot older in in this movie, but um, he was also in in National Velvet, and his character is quite interesting, um, as as you'll get a chance to see. So, one other thing I'll tell you about the movie before we watch, um, we're actually going to watch the original trailer. You guys know what a trailer is? 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, like the preview. So we're going to watch the the original one from 1961. It's going to be oh, yeah. it's going to be fun. So, but um b- before we do that, one other thing I should mention is that the movie was based on a book. So, um Naris, you said you liked movies that were based on um true stories. Yes. Yeah, so this one wasn't it isn't a true story, but it was based on a book. So, and the person who um wrote the book there's actually a movie about him that possibly you guys have seen. The guy who wrote it was Truman Capote. So, um, Philip Seymour Hoffman was the star of the movie called Capote, which was a true story about Capote's life. So, that's who wrote the book Breakfast at Tiffany's. So. I am still learning the technology, <laughs> so hopefully everything goes the way it should. Um, I've created a playlist with lots of clips um, for YouTube. Has everybody here used YouTube in class before? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes? Okay. So you know you, you have to click it and then um, you have to click on my picture, right Jessica, or does it just come up? I know yeah. Jessica helped me yesterday. If you can't get the yeah. video up, I think you have to click on my picture, right? Is that right? If you share your screen uh, and everybody, everybody click on your your box, we are, we are going to see what your, your okay. Box. So that that's for the screen share. Okay, so yeah, we're yeah. gonna okay. So YouTube, it'll just play up in the yeah. big screen. Okay, perfect. It's on YouTube. Okay, yeah, okay. So, how about everybody go ahead and click on YouTube. And does everybody see it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. We're going to watch this clip first and then um, we'll talk about it afterwards. Uh, uh, anyone can pause the video because it's going to affect all, all the views from everybody. Say that again. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So nobody pause it. <laughs> Just let it play. I'll be the pauser. <laughs> So I'll be the pauser. I'll be the one that presses pause. You guys just don't touch anything. Sound good? (laughs) Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's watch.
Okay, that's the next one. <laughs> um, we'll watch that one in a second. So, um, T, what what book review? I'm reading the book review Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't understand so, at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. I'll I'll help you guys. I'll help you guys through this. So. From what you saw, can I ask someone to maybe share what they think the movie is about? It's history of the love, no? Oh, yeah. the, the about a, a woman who is really strong and um, no, that's I that was, I'm looking for a word, word but. I, um, you can try typing it. And also, it's about how to live the life. Uh, how to live the life? Yeah, it's it's um kind of a commentary on um a lifestyle that's true. Yes, um, and we're gonna talk more about that as well. I'm glad you glad you brought that up, um, Jaira. Or it was no, that was Michael. Sorry. Thank you, Michael, for bringing that up because we are gonna talk about that um in a few minutes. Um, from what you have seen with this trailer it, that's true Jessica for a woman who lives yes absolutely and we're gonna also talk about that because this is the early 1960s and if you know um, a little bit about Americana or America during that time um, it looks very different than what this movie portrayed in terms of the character of Audrey Hepburn, as well as um, the, the the plot of, of the movie um, and the lifestyle and all of that, very very different. So, yeah. it's an it, this movie is definitely an, an American classic. It's it's very very famous here. Um, you guys mentioned about um, it being a romance movie. Is anybody familiar? Whoops. Is anybody? Um, familiar with this type, of, or excuse me, yeah, um, yeah. or a rom-com, we, we call them rom-coms here in the United States, a rom-com is a, a romantic comedy, or, um, so this, um, a modern day romantic comedy would be like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't go to uh, yeah, Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, I'm um, like, or has anyone ever, ever seen How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a romantic comedy. So Breakfast at Tiffany's was like one of the very first romantic comedies. Um, Vladimir, what did you notice um, that was different about the trailer itself from when we watch trailers now today? Mm, oh. I think there isn't a big difference between. No? Okay. Uh, I haven't recognized some. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um, did Did anybody recognize? Did anybody notice anything that could, that was different from the trailer for Breakfast at Tiffany's than trailers that we watch for movies now? The, well, yeah, the, yeah, the quality, <laughs> the quality, graphic, the, graphic. yeah, the, 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 yeah, the quality back then wasn't wasn't um, nearly as good. And also, when sure. when the clothes of the peoples. Say uh, that again. The clothes, the clothes of the people. The clothes, yeah. yeah, the clothes are different. No special effects. Um, no, there weren't many back then. Um, one of the things that I noticed about the trailer that was really different is. The voiceover. Are you guys familiar with, with what voiceover is in film? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's that, yeah. that person talking that has nothing to do with the movie whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't have that very much anymore. I think I remember when I was a little kid we still had voiceovers for for trailers. Um Everything was a reason for dancing and singing in old movies. Yeah, yeah. This isn't a mus. This is not a musical. So, um, but yeah, there was there was a lot of dancing and singing in old movies. But yeah, so the the voiceover was kind of different. Um, 
also at the beginning when Audrey Hepburn is looking right at the camera and says, come join me. Hmm. We never have actors nowadays look at the camera and say that. I mean, they just show, you know, clips from, from the movies. So um, a little, little bit different, a little bit different. Also, I, I thought there was a lot of um, text on the screen. You know, that whole, um, you guys saw it was everything you ever wanted to do. And you, I think, I, this might not be exact, but you, and you, oh, yeah, maybe it, hold on. And, Yeah, cigarettes were were very cool back then. Nobody nobody thought that they killed you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was smoking. I think I think at every single point in time in Breakfast at Tiffany's and a lot of other movies during that time, somebody has a cigarette. Yeah. Somebody's yeah. smoking. <laughs> and they smoked everywhere. Everywhere. I mean it was it crazy. So um you have always wanted to do it with. I thought this was kind of an interesting um, text that came up on on the trailer where it, when it said everything you ever wanted to do and Audrey Hepburn is who you have always wanted to do it with. Um, what do you guys what do you guys think about that? I mean what, what do you think the director was or, or was trying to get across? What do you think he was trying to get across? with that statement. That's good. That's yeah. That's that's really that's that's good. That's good, Jessica. Yeah. Um, because she's she, uh, most women were doing what or what? I mean, the the stereotype. Everybody knows what a stereotype is, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the stereotype for women at that time. Hi, Chris. By the way, hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? We're we're talking Hi, about a old you. old movie called Breakfast at Tiffany's. Have you ever heard of it? Have you ever heard of Breakfast at Tiffany's, Chris? So, so. Is, is, uh, I'm sorry, say that again? Uh, no, nothing at all. No? No? Okay. No. Cool. I love it. I love that none of, none of you guys have ever heard about this. So, <laughs> it makes it fun for me. Cool. So, um, cool. Yeah, so, um, yeah, the stereotype is that women were at home cooking with kids. And here, Audrey Hepburn's character is this very glamorous. Taking care of the family. Yep, with taking care of the family. Free, without limitations. Yeah, free, and she's free without limitations. She's just doing whatever she wants. So yeah, cool. Um, and do not belong to a man. Right, and not belong to a man. Yeah, what gave you that idea? <laughs> what part of the clip gave you that idea? Oh my gosh, another cat! Oh! Ah. <laughs> that's that's, that's not <laughs> Awesome, that's crazy. Um, cool. Um, T left, but T had mentioned um, about the whole you belong to me thing. What do you guys think about when George Pepard said you belong to me? You belong to me. When they were in the taxi? Why? You. Like you are my woman. Um, what, what would you What would you do if Andre said that to you, Jessica? <laughs> uh, it's better not 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 speak that. Yeah. <laughs> it's most not probably speak. she speaks it to me. Yeah. 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 By the, if if you guys don't know, Andre and, and Jessica are married, so that that wasn't like just out of the the blue. <laughs> I'm not weird. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're married, so I can say that. Um, yeah. You know what, though? I don't. I don't know. I I kind of. I I'm married myself, and um, 
I, I kind of feel like my husband and I belong to each other. Um, yeah, but... I, I'm not sure how I would feel though if you know if he said you belong to me, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, it's you know. just like uh, a commitment, but respect. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, then it was it was a little different, right? Yeah. I mean, and yeah. I think they, when when you say you belong to me uh, with love and respect, uh, it makes more more smoothly, I guess. Yeah. 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 Did Did you guys have any problem with how he said it in in the clip? Do you think do you think he said it with love and respect or do you think he was being possessive? It was possessive. It was it not was... with respect, yeah. It was <laughs> Okay. All right. It was awesome. like an order. Yeah, yeah. It it did. It did sound like an order. I totally agree. Um before we watch the the next clip, um did anybody notice Mickey Rooney? Mickey Rooney. It was kind of short. At the end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can somebody describe for me what they? Yeah. A little freak, man. Uh, Weird, man. <laughs> Weird, man. Yeah. Yeah. In the tub. In the tub. Yes. 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 Um. What, what do you What do you mean by political, Chris? Like it was a political statement? No. No. Can you elaborate? You want to type it? No. <laughs> no. Okay. 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 Um. Actually, it's it's funny that you said that because here's the thing about Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney is a white man. And he was playing, an a he was playing a, an Asian. He was actually playing a, a Japanese man. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think about that? Are you guys familiar maybe with the maybe the immigrants? Uh, the the Im uh, say, say that again. That last part again. Andre? You... Just wait a minute. Oh, okay. Um, I, I'm not sure, to be quite honest, I'm not sure how many Asian immigrants went to New York in, in 1961, but what I can tell you about Hollywood in 1961 is that there were no Asian actors. There might have been one or two. They certainly would not have been in a movie of the, the caliber of Breakfast at Tiffany's. It was, um, okay. it, yeah, it was there. So they used white actors um, to uh, represent them. To Asian. represent them, yeah. And um, if you watch it today, it, especially when if you actually watch the whole film of Breakfast at Tiffany's, you'll find that Mickey Rooney is almost making fun of the Japanese culture. They pull out every single stereotype you could possibly imagine, and it's it's very um it, it's very put it it's very put offish in this day and age. Now in 1961, do you think do you think it was a problem? No. No, it wasn't. It wasn't at all. We've we've definitely come a long, long way. I mean, could you imagine now nowadays in 2012 if um, they asked a, a white actor to play the part of a Japanese man? No. I don't think that would go over very well. No. I don't think it would go over well at all. So yeah. So cool. Now we're gonna start um, watching clips from the actual movie and we're gonna start with the introduction so Chris are you familiar with um, YouTube how to use YouTube in the chat
if not, if anybody has problems viewing the clip. No. Okay. Open okay. the window, please. Open the window, YouTube, in the handbook. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. So everybody click on YouTube. Yes, you, you see it, Chris? Awesome. Perfect. All right, we're going to watch. Oh, don't pause anything, Chris. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start it. Okay. All right. So that's the opening scene from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, in case uh, you, yeah. The, who do you think he was? Who do you think that guy at the end was? Oh, really? That's interesting. That's interesting. The guy at the end of that clip, any idea who he might have been? Not like the actor or anything, who he is in the movie. I don't expect you to know the name of actors from 1961. You know, that's that's a great guess. Um, he actually is not a cop. Detective. Not a detective. Not a detective. The landlord. Not the landlord. <laughs> <laughs> She's the okay. 
She's getting home early in the morning from where do you think she was? <laughs> How she looks it was a party maybe? Yeah, I'm, yeah, she was she was probably at a party. She was partying all night long. And um so she's getting home early in the morning and that guy at the end actually was her date from the night before and she ditched him. <laughs> and so he decided to sit out in front of her house and wait for her. <laughs> so um yeah, so she has to fend him off in in the next scene. But um I want to really talk about the music. Um are you guys familiar with Henry Mancini? He's done a no. zillion movies. Very, very famous movies. Um, I didn't take the time to pull up a list of, of the movies that he's worked on, but if you type in his name in Google, I'm sure sure one will come up. Um, he's done a lot of movies. Um, the title of that song is called Moon River. Hmm. And it's, um, how did, what did you think about the music? Someone, someone say, Neris, why don't you talk about the music? Weren't you the, you were the one who uh, mentioned it. What did you think? It's good and it's relaxing. Relaxing, yeah, 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 absolutely. Soft music. Um, and would you picture that kind of music being in a romantic comedy? No, it doesn't fit. Not really. Mm -mm. No. What? What? What do you normally hear, Vladimir, in in romantic comedies? What kind of music? It's okay. more more fun, I think, in in mm -hmm. the music. This is really seriously. You get the feeling everything gets okay, but it's uh, too slowly, I think. Yeah, yeah. Normally, yeah, we have that peppy. You guys know the word peppy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, peppy. Peppy music is is peppy. Peppy music is usually what we. Uh, what we see in a romantic comedy. So picture this. So it's early morning and she's getting back from a party and she goes and stands in front of where? Tiffany's. Tiffany's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think about that? Just a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> I gotta guess Jewelry. that she goes there every day. You you get the feeling she goes there every day. That's that's a that's a good that's a good yeah. feeling. That's a good feeling. Um yeah, does anybody find that a little strange? I think it really very big strange. Yeah, I mean I don't know about you, but I don't is certainly not after a long night of partying. I certainly don't go stand in front of a jewelry store um, okay. and drink coffee and eat a eat a donut or whatever I it was do a pastry. Yes, you you can do that, Jesse. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, um, yeah. So um, we've talked about this briefly. About well, we've actually talked about this a lot about it being early nineteen sixties. So far, what do you think of Audrey Hepburn's character? If you could describe her, somebody describe what they think. You don't have to be right, but describe what they think her character is like. Someone describe. I think she's a woman trying to get off the common rules of a uh, big city. It, it, she's trying to do what in the big city, Andre? Get it out of the rules. Out of the the. Can you type it? Yeah. Getting out of the rules. Okay, so she's breaking the rules. Yeah. Break, breaking the rules. Yeah, breaking the rules of. She okay. don't accept the rules. She does not accept the rules. Okay, Jessica says she looks like that she's very wealthy. Interesting, yeah. Interestingly enough, she's not. Um, but um, we'll, we'll yeah. find out more about that. But um, she looks like 
Mm hmm. Yeah, she does look like she puts her. She's put together very well. I think she's we trying to show yeah. she's rich. Mm hmm. Maybe she's. Her intention is show his. He's rich. Um, I can't explain. No, I no. I, it's it's like she's pretending, right? Yeah. 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 yeah she's yeah. She's she's pretending that she's someone that she's not. Yeah. Um, I haven't told you what her name is yet in the movie. It is Holly. Go lightly. That is Audrey Hepburn's name. That's her character's name in the movie. So now that you know what her name is, what do you think about? Does that change your opinion or anything of of her? What her name is? She's naming the movie Holly Go Lightly. Yeah. 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 What do you think of that name? Uh, that means the uh, woman's. Uh... It's like a, a fragile. Uh, fragile? Yeah. Yeah. Fragile. Like a, fr a fragile thing, and mm -hmm. go and the got in getting out, uh, showing out. Uh, mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, I do believe that she she wants to be a star as well, Jessica. I I think that's a, a big part of her character, or at the very least, the center of attention, right? Mm. At the very least, the center of attention. Um, any guesses on what she does for a living? She is a gold, a gold digger. A gold digger. I love that word. <laughs> um, that's that's a good guess. That's a good guess. Uh, I'm sorry. Gold digger. Gold digger, do you know what that means? No. Gold digger? Okay, a gold digger equals a woman who goes after men for money. Yeah, okay. <laughs> or she'll, she'll even go as far as to marry yes. someone for their money. Remember back in... Um... Hi, Marianella, how are you? Hi. Hi. Hi everybody. Hi. Hi. We're, we're, we're talking about um, an old movie, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Have you ever heard of it? No. No? no. That's okay. Um, and uh, we're talking about the main character and um, that she um, is, a, is a gold digger. Uh, do you know what a gold digger is? <laughs> no. No, a, a gold digger is, is a woman who goes after men for money, or she'll marry a man oh, just to get his money. <laughs> so in America, we call them gold diggers. Um, do you guys remember who, who watched the, the first clip, the trailer, when she was talking to, to George Peppard's character? Yeah, like Kim <laughs> She's she's been pretty wealthy herself, but um, I don't know how she got she got all her all of her money. But um, remember in the in the first clip in the in the trailer um, when she's talking to George Peppard in the kitchen and she says, "Would you marry me for my my money?" So yeah, um, definitely, definitely, definitely. So cool. Let's um watch the next. We're gonna watch two clips next. They're both from the party. Okay, and this will probably be all the time we have for this. I'm teaching this exact same thing, but we're gonna keep doing more breakfast at Tiffany's tomorrow morning at four AM my time, which is Pacific Standard Time. So if you're around Feel free to join because uh, we're gonna keep going with breakfast Tiffany's. But okay, um, Marianella, do you know how to use the uh, YouTube? Uh, yes, yeah, just to to watch videos. Yeah, just to click on the link at the top where it says YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's everybody click on YouTube and watch these two. Videos. We're going to watch two of them.
Okay, let's see. I'm having trouble getting it to play all of a sudden. Hmm. My YouTube looks like it's frozen or something. Here, let's try this. Mine too. Yours too? Yeah. Ah, bummer. What's going on? All right, let's do it this way. Um. Technology, bad technology, bad, bad. Okay. All right. Here's the link, I believe, to the second video. If you guys just want to um, watch that real quick, and then we'll rejoin. So I don't need to watch it. You guys can watch it. This is the same video. Is it the same one? Yes. Oh, it is. Sorry. Just kidding. There's the right one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Jessica again. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm quite afraid. Okay, cool. Yeah, we've got like six more minutes left, so um, I'm going to go ahead and, and get back to uh, to class. So what do you guys think?
think about that party. Is that a party that uh, that you would like to go to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, was there. I'm gonna mute Marianella since she's on the phone. Um, yeah, it seems like anybody else. Would anybody else want to go to that party? No? Are you guys not into partying? <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you think? It's very old fashioned. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It is very old fashioned. Um, lots of drinking. Um, yeah. What did you th What did you think about the lady um, in front of the mirror? She's crazy. <laughs> she's, she's drunk. She's wasted, isn't she? <laughs> she's wasted. Yeah. She 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 went through that whole you know pinnacle of everything's great, and then she hit that wall where everything is so not great anymore. <laughs> so. Um, what do you think the significance? What do you think the significance of the party scenes are? What do you think the significance? Does everybody know what the word significance means? No. Uh, the meaning? Important. Mm -hmm. Yep, meaning, importance, yep. I think the party have the significance to winning party. You have to get it fun uh, and no think about problems like the hatch oh. about woman was fighting. Make sense? Um, it, that, let me let me see if I if I got that right. So the the meaning of the party is is to show kind of the lifestyle that all these people are are are, are leading. Is that what no. you meant? No. Uh, I mean, when in party, you have it to get it fun, and don't think about the problems, okay, like so when you, the head to getting fired. Mm -hmm. So when you go to a party, you, you do it so you can forget about your problems. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, true. Absolutely. Absolutely. So knowing that, because that's true, by the way, is my... Um, um, thanks, Michael. <laughs> Um, oh, where is that coming from? Oh, wow. YouTube came back, and it just decided to play on its own. That's yeah. awesome. Um, yeah, let's just get out of that. Um, so, yeah, so knowing that you go to parties to forget your problems, why do you think they decided to, to show that in the movie? What's the meaning of that? What's the meaning of that? Uh, there's all kind of people in that party. Yeah, there were all kinds of people in the party. Did you um? You, did you see the uh, the the Asian extras? That's about all mm. the kind of roles that they would get back back then. Because we talked about Mr. Yanioshi, um, which I tried to get a clip because actually during the party, um he calls up to the apartment and threatens to call the cops and and all this stuff so um and that's a it's a really good um place where you can see that the stereotypes of, of his character yeah. but I, I couldn't get i could not find one clip with that um yeah big cities big cities there's always places to have fun for sure it's funny to me that it's out in an apartment though given that they are in new york um, instead of out, because there were clubs, there were clubs back then, um, but it's at the apartment. Um, anybody notice the cat? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> what did you, What did you think about the cat? Very mean. <laughs> <laughs> the cat was mean, or they were mean to the cat. The they cat, were. the cat leaving the apartment and. The was involved in the party. Yeah, he was definitely involved in the party. Do you think the cat yeah. was having a good time? I think so. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Do you yeah, think yeah. the cat... Poor cat had so much smoke being blown in his face. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so awesome, guys. Very good. So, did you guys enjoy 
breakfast at Tiffany's? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. I really um, want to watch the movie. It's a, it's a really, really, really good movie. I tell you, it really, really is. Um, are you guys, do you guys know what Amazon dot com is yeah. yeah yeah they i believe they have the movie there so yeah it's a great movie if you guys like i said i'm teaching like a part two of this tomorrow at four <laughs> so early <laughs> it's the earliest class i've ever signed up for um at 4 a.m pacific standard time so, and before we leave, can I ask, is my video lagging all of a sudden?